right, well the day's finally come to where I gotta go around the yard and clean up some junk. So I'm gonna start with this sorry piece of sh So as we all know, the reason I had to put that motor in is because something happened to this one. So that's what happens when stuff sits outside for a while. All right, anyway. That cylinder right there was the problem. So I've held on to this thing. I would rather just throw it in the back of the truck and take it to the scrapyard where it belongs, but I held on to this thing because I wanted to do a video to pull the head off and see what happened. I'm going to guess that one of the valves is bent on this cylinder, but I'm just curious. Previously, I did pull some of these inspection ports off and it looked like some of the piston rings were broken and stuff like that on different cylinders and there's a ton of oil in there. If you're curious about any of this stuff and you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, the first thing we want to do. And go back and check the video out of where I diagnosed the sick Detroit diesel in the International. Alright, let's get this head off. well here's the problem I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not but looks like that valve that valve and that valve are all bent there's a pretty distinct gap down in there in person you can kind of almost see right in it so <clears throat> but what else I noticed on this is this motor this thing was in pretty rough shape like I told said before I I pulled some of these ports off and you could see the damage in there and now that I got this off I mean it this thing was in pretty dire need of like 
I can feel them scratches with my nail. I wouldn't really say there's a worse one. They're all about the same. Like these here, I can feel that pretty good with my fingernail. <clears throat> it doesn't necessarily mean the engine's junk. But she was definitely getting tired, that's for sure. Definitely not worried about saving it at this point. Anyway, let's tear the rest of it down and see what else we can find. Curious to see how the bearings look and stuff in the bottom end. I don't see any major cracking or anything on the liners. They're just beat, that's all. So these oil pan bolts, the trick to get them off is to tighten them until they loosen and then they'll come off. So you get the biggest impact in your arsenal and then you move forward with that process. On a serious note, I'm sure everybody hates me by now, but you know what? This engine was garbage anyway. There was a lot of stuff wrong with it. You know, so far we've found uh, scoring in all the cylinders. Yeah, that could be replaced, but you know what? This engine's got who knows how many miles on it, and uh, ultimately, you know what? It's pretty much outdated, and I don't know. That engine's pretty cool, but... Then you put this engine in to replace it and step on the gas pedal for the first time and there's literally nothing like it so unfortunately this is the fate of it. But anyway, I've really, I've always wondered what the rod and the main bearings looked like on this thing but I never checked them so we're going to find that out now. Wow. 
Wow. I gotta say, really not too bad. This is the bottom though. The top is what the one that always wears, so wears on the bottom on the main, so we'll pull a main off and see what that looks like. I gotta say though, not too bad. Okay, that's a little bit worse. I'll get a paper towel and wipe this off so we can see it. Yeah, we're a little worse off, but I gotta say it's still not that bad though, considering really not that bad a shape, I must say. Seen a lot worse. Even the crank. There's the main journal and that's a rod journal. Even that's not that bad. I'm going to pull some more of these off, and if I find anything interesting, we'll get back then. So the truck that was once powered by this flaming piece of garbage... ...is now hauling it away to the scrapyard. where it will never, ever cost me any more downtime again or anybody else any inconvenience following me because it just doesn't have the power to do it anymore. So, sad story, but exciting because I made sure every single piece on that piece of shit is never gonna be used again, never going to inconvenience anybody again in this world. However, there is one piece that I saved because I know that it's kind of valuable to some of you Detroit guys. The oil pump. This thing had pretty decent oil pressure for one of these motors. And it still works. Don't worry, I took it off before it got trashed. So, there's no guarantee on it. But this was on a 671 uh, 4 valve head. Detroit diesel so if anybody wants this I'm gonna throw it up on eBay I will put the link into the description the link might not be in the description right away because I don't have a lot of time and uh, when I when I do post it on eBay I'll update the the description on the video you're watching right now and and then you can basically have at it if anybody wants it, there it is. Also, I'm going to throw this oil sump pickup tube in with it too. This whole unit here. So what is my beef with this Detroit, you may ask yourself? Well, I'll just tell the story a little bit. Yeah, it seems kind of silly to be pissed off at an inanimate object, which it's mostly for show anyway. Um, but just a long story short, in the sp it's fall now, obviously, by the leaves, but in the spring I got super busy and this motor let me down and cost me basically a whole year's worth of work. Um, so that really kind of burnt my fuse out deep inside on this thing and I just don't like it. So yeah, it's a motor, it's not a brain. It doesn't know what it did wrong. Technically it didn't do anything wrong. And in all honesty, it was a fun truck to drive and it was a great motor while it lasted. It just simply wore out and old and that's what happens with things. And eventually that cat will do the same thing. But I am a deep hearted cat guy. So if something happens to that cat, it definitely won't suffer the same uh, death as this motor did so <clears throat> that'll probably get rebuilt or parted out in another one but um but yeah this this was definitely a fun motor and truck to drive while it lasted it just you know hey why not have some fun with it i mean it 
basically junk anyway. Yes, 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 I know. All you professional mechanics out there are gonna correct me on this, which is something I'm already going to say anyway. Just because these are wore out, the motor's not technically junk, it just needs to be rebuilt. Simple as that. However, to rebuild it versus putting that cat in it was a lot different, you know? I'm gonna rebuild something that has 238 horsepower or just drop something in that has 425 horsepower and just be a lot better off. So, pistons aren't terrible. And most of the damage I found was the rod, <clears throat> rod and main bearings. I mean, I mean, these liners are pretty scored really bad. You know, I could feel that with my, my uh, fingernail, so. Again, that doesn't mean the motor's junk. It could have always been rebuilt, but you know what? To me, it just wasn't worth it. But teach their own. All right, so if you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate you watching and supporting my channel. So I'm going to do a little something here. Yeah, that's my signature, if you can believe it. So I don't know how many of these I'm going to do, but I'm going to throw some of these on eBay if anybody's interested in supporting my channel and not too pissed off at me for destroying that motor. I'm probably going to do at least, uh, I don't know, probably eight or ten of them or something. I'm not sure how many I have. Uh, so I'll, I'll throw the link to these in the description too and... Yeah, there they are. I really do promise I am going to try to make my videos a lot more exciting for everybody. Because I know nobody wants to hear my monotonish voice go blah, blah, blah. This is how you take a bull out and this and that. So hopefully this video was a step in the right direction on that. And if you like what you see, there's going to be a lot more to come. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click that like button. And don't miss any videos. We'll see you next time.